Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I want to show you how easy it is to create looping backgrounds. Looping backgrounds can be used anywhere. One really good place to put them is for streaming to let people know their connection is still live. Um, I've done a few events and the one thing I wanted to do was if people were waiting, I wanted the screen, even if it was um, maybe a break or a, a screen before things start, something needs to be moving or else the person watching might think their connection is uh, stopped or they're disconnected or whatever. So I'll show you a really simple technique and you can use anything in the background. It uses the same technique. Let me show you first what I worked on a long time ago before there was an accelerated effect for this. So let me show you. So you might recognize this kind of uh, a background from last week tonight with John Oliver. I love that show. And I looked at his background and I thought that was a really slick uh, background, let me create this. So when I was making this in Premiere Pro, here's what I did. If you look in the Essential Graphics, by the way, I'm in the um, Essentials workspace. You'll notice every single one of the words for that's white and gray is separate. So each one of these was created uh, and manually positioned on here. Why would I do that? Well, I did that because when I made this, the effect called replicate was not GPU accelerated, which means that this was brutally slow. So now, and by the way, I've, I've done this to a few other ones. There was a whole bunch of hearts and kisses and Instagram and Twitter and um, thumbs up and YouTube. And every single one of these was the same thing. I had to duplicate and position them. You can see how long it takes to show every single one. And you'll see these are letters. I actually used a, a program, I can't remember the name, but I'll link to it, where you can make your own fonts. So because Illustrator's like second nature to me, I could draw all of these shapes so quickly in Illustrator, and then this program lets you turn it into a font, so then you can just, hit the letter instead of importing the graphic, it's a font and uh, that's what I used. But it's multiple, multiple, multiple clips. So look at the new way of doing it now. You'll notice that I've got the replicate effect, offset effect, and there's the text. There's only one version of the text. One is dark and one is light. Okay, and the replicate effect, if we look at the effects controls, the replicate effect here replicates it five times. And if I turn that off, you'll just see the large text showing up. I know build this from scratch and, and show you how it works. And what's important here is that the replicate effect is different. That's how this offset works. If I had both the dark and the light with the same replicate effect, then they would all be lined up in a perfect grid, which is the boring part. When you have this at different speeds, it adds a little bit more depth to it. So there's the gradient background, the light text and the dark text, and the text is moving seamlessly forever um, with this kind of look. Okay, and it really looks good when you put it behind a graphic. It just makes things a little bit more interesting than a static um, image, but it's really easy to do and really easy to customize. So I've got, like I said, a few of the examples here. And of course you could have one graphic or one person, two people, 10 people. And then I've also added it here to show you, you could have a custom logo in the background instead of uh, the text or the, the fonts that I used. All right, so how do we do this? Well, I'll go to a separate place on the timeline and I will just draw 
one shape. I'll zoom in to that on my timeline, drag that out. So right now, I have one shape. It's just a rectangle. I'm going to start adding effects to this. And I, this is my essential graphics. So this is where I work on the graphics. And over in the left is where I pick the effect. So I'm going to choose Replicate. You'll notice that's the accelerated icon. Uh, when you have something selected, you can just double click on an effect to uh, add it. So I'll go to my effects controls and change this from two to five. So now I've got five of these. And the one thing you'll notice right away is that the size is affected. So you don't have control over the position of the replicate. It's just a number and it duplicates it five times, five times. So it's really 25 on the screen. So this outline that you're looking at is the size of that original shape. So if I turn replicate off, I'm just making this larger or smaller. It is very important that when you're creating any objects to be replicated, that they stay within the boundary of the frame. If, you're there, if they're outside of this boundary, they will be cut off. And it just shows up that way. Okay, there's no animation right now. It's just sitting there. So the other effect is offset. This offset. And you can see that that's accelerated, not RGB offset. This offset. So it shows up here. And it's really simple. It's just the top numbers. And mine are all going left and right, but you could do them up and down. You need to start at a point. Uh, so I'll open up my, my keyframe animation here, go to the beginning, and then I'll set shift center to the default. And then I'll go a little bit further and I'll just drag this number over to the right. And you can see as I drag, it just continuously moves and moves and moves. I think the maximum is 30, and this is a pixel number, 32,000 pixels. So if you needed longer, the, the ones I have in this example are five minutes long, you could set the first number to minus 32,000, and then the next one as, as plus 32,000. So now you've got a lot longer uh, of a stretch. And uh, there you go. That's as easy as it is. Now, you'll see the folders that I had in the, in the other ones. That's because if you want the offset to be different. So I'll select these and then select the folder. Everything now is self-contained. The offset in a full, any effect, replicate and offset in that folder, don't affect anything else. So I can select the whole group and duplicate that, open this one up, and choose a different position for that shape. So that was my other shape. Now you'll notice that there's only so far I can go um, before the, the position of that gets cut off. The shape, remember the original shape that I have is here and the other shape is in view. So the whole thing is within the boundaries of the frame. This next one that I duplicated and moved around isn't. So I don't want to drag that to the left. So I can drag it over to there and then go to the um, offset and change that. Oh, I'm back in motion. Turn motion off, Colin. Go back to offset. There we go. So now I can find an even place in there to start. And they'll move at different speeds. That's the whole idea here. And then maybe we'll change this other one to a different color. 
And that's all it is. The offset moves everything seamlessly from one side to the next. So there you go. Offset, replicate, both accelerated effects, really easy ways to make something change in the background. And I'm doing two things. You could have 10 things or 20 things or whatever you want to make your cool looking background. And that offset, it's always seamless what's going on. And it can be anything. It could be any graphic, video, it could be text, what have you. Uh, you could render that out too. It, you know, take that that graphic and render that, that out as a, a video and, and place that in the background. If you didn't want to ever change it, you want to lock it, um, you could do that. You can't render and replace on the graphic, but uh, you could render it out. Hey, if you're new to Video Reveal and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. I'm going to put this uh, project on videoreveal.com so you can download it for free and play with it. Um, and I'll also put my background, my font that I made, I'll stick that up there uh, with the graphics in it. So if you want, there's an easy way to get Twitter and, and uh, Instagram and stuff like that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to uh, keep my eyes open when I'm watching television shows and looking at backgrounds and thinking, I bet you I can find an easy way to create that and make that available to all my wonderful viewers.